While it's not obvious how to integrate cosine squared of x at first, it's made quite straightforward by an application of the proper power reducing formula. These are the power reducing formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent. For this problem, we of course need the formula for cosine. Cosine squared of x equals 1 plus cosine of 2x all over 2. If we rewrite cosine squared of x, like this, we'll be able to integrate no problem. So applying this formula, let's write that factor of 1 half outside the integral, which just leaves the numerator inside the integral. 1 half the integral of 1 plus cosine of 2x dx. Now we can integrate the 1, which is just x, and integrate cosine of 2x using u substitution or just thinking about it carefully. So here's the integral. We have that factor of 1 half out front. 1 integrates to x, and the integral of cosine of 2x is sine of 2x because the derivative of sine is cosine, but by the chain rule, if we took the derivative of this, we would get a factor of 2 as well, and we need to undo that by multiplying by 1 half. So that's the integral, and if you want to distribute the 1 half through the brackets, we end up with this, x plus a half sine of 2x all over 2 plus the arbitrary constant. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check the description for a link to my lesson introducing those power reducing formulas if you're not familiar with them, as well as my playlist for Calculus 1 and Calculus 1 exercises. Thanks for watching.